when the team in 14th loses to the team that are now in 6th, it's usually not much of a story. But when the team in 14th is Chelsea and they've spent a billion dollars and they lose at home to Villa, who are, are going well, what is happening? Who, who should get the headlines here? Because it'll be all about Chelsea. But Villa will feel that going to Stamford Bridge and getting three points merits headlines of their own. What do you make of this? Well, I'm sure in the, in the Midlands they'll be getting plenty of praise. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Outside of that, I think, mm. uh, as you said, it'll all be about the woes of Chelsea. And, and the truth is, it's not a real surprise, is it? No. You know, Chelsea can't score a goal to save their lives. But then, where do you portion the blame here? Because, again, Pochettino's going to be under pressure. But really, is that is he the person that should be under pressure? Or is it these so-called directors of football they have, these three guys that, that have gone and, uh, and, and scouted and, and made and put forward the majority of these, of these signings, and as you said, they spent nearly a billion, but they don't mm. have a goal scorer and centre forward, and they don't have a playmaker. I mean, so who carries the can for this? I, I find it too easy to, to to throw everything at Pochettino. Listen, Thomas Tuchel couldn't sort them out. Potter couldn't sort them out. Frankie Lampard couldn't sort them out. Right now, Pochettino can't sort them out. So there's a bit of a pattern here. That's, it doesn't seem to be the problem of the... Of, of the the buck doesn't seem to be at the manager's door because there's some good managers in amongst those names I've just thrown out. Are you telling me that none of them know what they're doing? I would suggest they have to look at the recruitment. They've got this wrong. The coach, is, regardless of who it is, is finding it hard to put the pieces of this puzzle together. And if he's given pieces of puzzle that don't fit, then, I mean, are you looking for a miracle? Because right now it seems as though they need a miracle. You know, Jackson, albeit, uh, has potential. But he's suspended he's in... now, Stevie. That was his fifth yellow card. He's going to miss the Fulham away game. I mean, that's that's not good enough. No, it's not. But he's not He's not a finisher. Again, no, he never has been. He played wide left in Spain. So why are you signing a finisher? Why, sign... why are you signing a guy who's not a finisher? You've already got players that can't finish. Your problems <laughs> Your problems for, for long enough have been putting the ball in the back of the net. So why do you go and sign a guy who's who's more renowned for what he does off the ball or, or, or as far as a team player or running in behind. I mean, he does all these things well, but the one thing he doesn't do well is finish, but mm -hmm. yet you sign him. So, again, it, I, I guess you can tell. I don't think the box should stop at Pochettino. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think moving Pochettino anywhere is going to change anything at Chelsea. Um, it's about the recruitment, and they've got it badly, badly wrong. And there's a reason they're in 14th. Because they're just not that good. And that's no. just the basic facts. Can't score goals. You went through the manager and you said Potter couldn't do it. That was Graham. I'm not even sure Harry could do it with all the magical yeah. powers that he yeah, seems he to have. <laughs> oh, and, and then, even then, I mean, I don't no, know if he's don't. got something that'll put the ball in the back of the net, but yeah. my goodness, that's a problem. And now, against Fulham, away from home in the derby, yeah, without Nico Jackson. yeah, And Gusto, by the way, was sent off after his yellow was upgraded to a red and Reese James is already missing. What a mess at Chelsea.